Thank you, and welcome back to the uh, final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Alana McLaughlin, and she's given us some information in reference to anti-Islamic sentiment in the United States of America. Now, Lana, you've covered uh, quite a bit of information during the first and second segment. Let's give you the uh, opportunity during the final segment to deal with some of the other aspects of uh, this anti-Islamic sentiment. All right, and so if you're just tuning in, in the second segment, I talked about one ex personal experience that I saw anti semitism <laughs> Anti-sentiment. Sentiment, oh my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sentiment going on um, towards a man who was carrying a Quran. He had on a traditional dress from uh, some country. I, I'm not quite sure because I haven't really taken any cultural classes. But he was an American. He was carrying a Quran, so I'm going to make an inference that the man was a Muslim. And so we were in... We were kind of walk. Okay, I was in Washington D.C. So I was at John F. Kennedy Airport, and I was coming. Uh, I was trying to go to Nashville, and so I was going through TSA, and he was behind me. And so I got all my stuff packed. I put it in the little cubbies. They put it through. I got my stuff back. It was over with. And I was waiting on the chaperones that I was with to accompany me onto the flight and all that. So I kind of sat down and I was observing what else was going on at the airport, and I saw. TSA kind of giving the man who was behind me a hard time like for instance they made what they would do like this is his Quran they would open it and just like kind of kind of manhandle it trying to see if there was anything in there and they were shaking it like it, it was and it didn't look in too great a condition so it looked like it could have snapped like that and it was just they were giving him they were doing so much extra and that really just made my blood boil because at that time, there wasn't anything I could do because I couldn't go up there because once you go through TSA, you, I couldn't go straight because as he was coming through it, I couldn't go through that line and everything was too busy. So I couldn't really do anything about it except, you know, tell the chaperones I was with and even they expressed their own disgust about it. And that just really made me think, wow, like that's that's something that happens so often, but it's never reported on websites, et cetera. But let that have been any other race getting racially profiled i promise you it would have been everywhere if that was me and they were double checking my stuff and asking me stupid stuff like um do i live in chicago or do i do, do i have a father and stupid stereotypical things like that trust me it would have been on news channel five like that and, or on Fox and, and, and so you, you find that this is quite prevalent it's quite prevalent in terms of the denial in a real sense of people's constitutional rights, the it is. citizenship rights and, and, and whatnot. Is that what you're saying here? It is, and that's why I feel like there are certain political candidates who do not encourage equality. I'm not gonna go into name dropping or anything, but there are certain candidates that do not support equality. And I f feel like, th though, okay, Right now, the two top candidates are Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, and that's just, you just really can't fight that. And I feel like, since I'm not old enough to vote, I'm just watching this unfold, and I'm not making any certain choice because my opinion wouldn't really be taken for anything because I can't vote. But I'm watching this unfold, and I'm listening to both of their speeches and all, and their, their, all the things that they promised to do with America, and I'm just sitting here thinking like, Wow, one of these candidates really wants, he wants an America that's built around him and people who are like him, that, that 1%. And you, I, I don't feel like you could really be a president if you don't think about other people. Because running a country, you have to put others before yourself. You have, you have so, millions of people who are looking up to you, who are abiding by your rules, and if you exclude them from some of the things, A, that's not right, and B, that's dangerous. Lana, in, in, in your category, in, in your age group, I know you're not uh, old enough to vote yet, but do you find that there's any kind of sentiment in reference to what is going on 